Hey guys, welcome to my next installment of the Battle of the BB Cream series. Um, for the next um, BB Cream that I'm going to review, it's going to be the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. And it has SPF 35 and it comes in a 30 milliliter bottle just like this. Um, I'm only going to show you part of it because it's kind of dirty right now. So um, I got it in a light medium. And um, the description on the back says, Always be camera ready with this 5-in-1 beauty bomb. Prime, perfect, protect, hydrate, and help remove excess surface oil in one step to create a wear alone face, uh, to create a flawless face, face, oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> in a flash. So, um, the starting off, I'm just going to say that this applies um, very matte. So this is perfect for the oily girls, namely me. Um, it doesn't have a dewy finish like that Misha uh, Perfect Cover BB Cream has. It has more of a matte finish. Um, I'm going to give you guys some updates throughout the day and take some, uh, you know, flash photography for you guys just to see how it applies and how it looks. And then I'll give you guys an update at the end of the day, like so. I would say a con starting off is that... Um, it has a really chemical kind of smell like you know that smell when like back in the day when you're playing with your mom's makeup and all her makeup kind of smells like chemicals that's what it smells like to me but the smell goes away pretty quickly and um, once you've applied it and the smell kind of has a chance to settle in you can't smell anything anymore so you're not walking around like smelly like chemicals if someone leans in close to your face like uh, why, why do you smell? What? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know why someone would lean that close to you other than your like spouse, husband, you know, boyfriend, or girlfriend. But anyways, um, I'll be right back. I'll show you guys how it applies, and um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Let me take a selfie. Hey guys, I'm back for another update. So I just came back from the gym. Um, sweating like crazy, so don't mind the dewiness. Um, this actually isn't oiliness, it's more like sweat. So it actually fared pretty well. I'm not that sweaty. I only had to uh, blot maybe once during the day or yeah just once in the morning and probably once in the afternoon too but um, I don't think it is as long lasting as the Misha BB cream was but it still fared pretty well considering uh, I went to the gym and I was sweating like crazy uh, but the only problem I have is that um, under my eyes uh, it kinda caked up and kinda went in my fine lines but other than that the rest of it looks pretty good anyways I'm just going to take some pictures for you guys just uh, so you can get a closer look and I'll be back with another update today alright so final update of the day um, overall it has stayed on pretty well um, starting with the cons so it smells weird when you first put it on there's that little bit of cakiness under my eyes when I go to work out and when I sweat, which is... Nah. It's not as long lasting as the uh, other BB cream, the Misha Perfect Cover BB cream. And the pros, it keeps me matte relatively throughout the whole day. I only had to blot twice. And um, it applies uh, very smoothly, so it's creamy. It's not watery at all like the Garnier BB cream, which I will review later. Um, what was it? The color match was much better for me, um, but that's just because of my stupidity because I apparently can't color match when, with Asian BB cream because you never know what you're going to get. Usually I just look ghostly with Asian BB creams, but this one actually wasn't that bad. So it'll kind of even out when I get a little lighter in the winter and, you know, fall, winter. Um, 
yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the price of the Smashbox BB Cream. It was about $30 Canadian, I believe, so it probably less in US dollars. But that's pretty much all I have to say about the Smashbox BB Re Ready, Set, Go? What was it? Let's check. What does it say? Camera Ready BB Cream. But that's all I have to say. And um, I'll see you guys in my next, you know, BB cream review. And yeah, see you guys later.